40 days have now passed since 22-year-old Masa Amini died while being held by the so-called morality police. Thousands gathered at her grave amid tight security. And across Iran, there were angry clashes between protesters and security forces. And in the capital, Tehran, tear gas and pellet guns were used to disperse demonstrators. In Iran's Kurdistan province, where Amini was from, there's a near total blackout of the internet. In an exclusive investigation, CNN has looked at the final hours of Iranian teenager Nika Shakurami, who was among the many protesters on the streets days after Amini's death. After analysing more than 50 videos obtained by CNN and speaking to six eyewitnesses, there's evidence that she was chased, then detained by police just a few hours before she went missing. CNN's Katie Polglaze has our report. Nika Shakurami. The 16-year-old has become one of the most known faces in Iran. <laughs> on September 20th, Nika was a high-profile figure at the protests. A known personality on social media, she stood on bins chanting for the crowds. Officials say that within 24 hours, she would be dead. Nika joined a growing list of young women who have lost their lives in recent weeks as protests have swept Iran and authorities have waged a violent crackdown in response. The Iranian government has made a series of shifting claims, first saying that her death had, quote, no connection to the protests, but that she was thrown from a roof. And then on Wednesday, a new claim from the judiciary that it was suicide. On the basis of our investigation, using over 50 videos from that night and speaking to those with her that evening, CNN can reveal that some of Nika's final hours were spent at the protests, including evidence that suggests she was chased and detained by security just a few hours before the state says she died. The first videos we found of Nika on the 20th are here at 7 p.m. As protests heat up, Nika can be seen right at the front, throwing rocks at a formation of uniformed officers. Easily recognized, she was brave, not even frightened, eyewitnesses said. At this stage in the evening, Nika is here by Lale Park. Then, as more officers arrive, witnesses say Nika starts to move away from them, first along Keshavar's Boulevard and then down Vassal Shirazi Street, where she's seen making a phone call just before 8 p.m. As it gets dark, the police crackdown intensifies, moving into Nika's new location. Evidence of injuries start emerging, and protesters are seen being detained, apparently by plainclothed officers. One person told CNN they saw security forces hitting women and putting them in police vans. In the midst of this heightened violence, CNN found a video of Nika. Still at the centre of the protests, it's 8.37pm and the last known video of her. Don't move, don't move, she shouts as she crouches between cars to hide from authorities. The person filming from the car told CNN that shortly afterwards Nika was taken by several large-bodied security forces and bundled into a van. By this point in the evening, police were everywhere. Videos we've geolocated to the scene show police to the south and also to the north of Nika. It means when she was crouching in traffic, she was completely surrounded. By the next morning, she would be dead, according to this death certificate, first obtained by BBC Persian and verified by CNN, which shows she died from multiple injuries caused by being hit with a hard object and is dated September 21st. But Nika's family would not learn of her death for another 10 days. Meanwhile, both Nika's mother and aunt have said in interviews that credible sources told them that for days during that window, Nika was in state custody. The Iranian authorities released this CCTV footage claiming Nika died after being thrown from this building later the same night in an incident they say was unconnected to the protests. They made no claim about who allegedly threw her and CNN cannot verify the person is Nika nor the day it was filmed. Nika's mother has publicly disputed this footage saying it's not her daughter. And it's hard to square this calm walk with the evidence we have of Nika being chased by police and detained just a few hours earlier. Iranian officials have not responded to CNN's inquiry as to whether she was ever in custody in the hours leading up to her death. What is certain, though, is that Nika was a prominent activist at the centre of a police crackdown on the protest that night. Katie Poglay, CNN, London.